The insanity defense excuses criminal defendants from responsibility if they meet the test for insanity applicable in their case. The United States Supreme Court considered whether the Due Process Clause required states to adopt a particular test for insanity in the 2020 case, Kaler v. Kansas. After filing for divorce in 2009, James Kaler's wife, Karen, moved out of their house, taking their two teenage daughters and young son with her. In the months that followed, Kaler became increasingly upset and agitated. When Thanksgiving weekend arrived, Kaler knew that his family would be at Karen's grandmother's house because that was their yearly tradition. He drove there, entered the house through the back door, and started shooting, killing Karen, her grandmother, and both of his daughters. He spared his son. The next day, Kaler turned himself into the police to face capital murder charges. At trial in Kansas State Court, he challenged the constitutionality of Kansas's treatment of the insanity defense. Under recently modified Kansas law, criminal defendants could be acquitted if they lacked cognitive capacity, meaning that their mental illness prevented them from knowing what they were doing or forming the necessary intent for the crime in question. Convicted criminal defendants could also receive a less severe punishment to account for their mental illness. But criminal defendants couldn't be acquitted just because they lacked moral capacity, meaning that they knew exactly what they were doing, but their mental illness prevented them from realizing that it was wrong. Kaler argued that the Due Process Clause required Kansas to adopt a moral incapacity test for insanity. But the trial court disagreed, and the jury ultimately convicted Kaler. During the sentencing phase, Kaler was allowed to use evidence of his mental illness as a mitigating circumstance, but the jury still sentenced him to death. Kaler appealed to the Kansas Supreme Court, which affirmed his conviction. And Kaler appealed once more, this time to the United States Supreme Court, which granted cert. 